Imagine stuffing the entire school syllabus into one small portable cube. That's exactly what's being done and its makers and the Department of Education are hoping this teaching and learning aid could make a big difference to the kids in the education system. Mention South Africa's education system and watch a heated debate quickly unfold as to what's wrong with it and how it can be improved upon. There is no doubt that South African learners need all the help they can get to make it through school. And it seems these days technology is playing more of a critical role in doing that. EduCube is a micro PC about the size of a cell phone with a 32 gig smart card containing all the software and material from the school syllabus. It comes with a cable to connect you to a computer monitor or your TV, as well as a keyboard and mouse. It's available in five of the official languages, including English, Afrikaans, Isizulu, Sisotu and Isikosa. It operates as a source of information which can be used by any pupil regardless of past exposure, and it does so through the use of a full encyclopedia, as well as an office suite of tools, workbooks, study materials and past exam papers. The Department of Education has provided EduCube with the entire syllabus from grades 1 to 12. EduCube comes equipped with an internet browser. Now there is the issue of not every student in the country having access to the internet. There's also the concern by parents of unsupervised access to the internet by their children. It is because of this that EduCube also comes with offline Wikipedia, offline school books, exams, as well as workbooks, allowing learners to continue work on their projects. So who can use the EduCube? Well, learners from the age of five to university level can use the PC. Furthermore, it can be used by the school administration, engineering and computer science students. It comes with call center support and annual updates and downloads. You can connect the EduCube to a TV or a computer monitor and use it in conjunction with the keyboard and mouse it comes with. It can also be charged through the traditional electricity supply or a standard car battery. Now that the EduCube is ready to be introduced to the market, there are a number of things to consider. At around a thousand rand a device, will the majority of South African learners be able to afford it? They are marketing it to schools with the hope of it being included as part of the curriculum. And with the backing from the Department of Education, Let's see how much easier EduCube can make things for learners.